Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Center News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick about two-minute preview to the Laval Rocket versus our Lehigh Valley Phantom. As our Phantoms, after struggling through the month of February and the month of March, are now without Morgan Frost as he moves back up to the Philadelphia Flyers, and Max Wilman moves back down to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But also to go into it, they look to get Pat Nagel and Felix Sandstrom going in their return. Whoever is in net for the 18-24-7-3 Phantoms against the 26-19-3 Laval Rocket this evening. When it comes to the game, goals for a 159 in favor of Laval to only 134 goals scored for the Phantoms. They also allow more goals at 168 to 156 for Laval. Um, when it comes to points, 46 points to 55 for Laval. Laval also has the goaltender of the month, Kevin Poulin, if he is able to be in net tonight, and that's the guy that they're going with. I would envision it is since he won the goaltender of the month. So uh, they've been playing very swimmingly this entire season, very consistent, where I think at this point, as much as I hate to say it, the telltale story of our fandom this year is going to be the slow start really screwed them, where then they started getting going in December and January, and then they fell off again, where they if they had a better start and then had the December and January they had and then started falling off in February and March here, it would be able to not, not just able easier to stomach, but it would also be they would be able to get through it and get over it, where with the way this season is, they don't really have that a buffer zone to be able to get through it and get over it, where now they're kind of just down and out and really would have to make up to get back into the playoff race. I understand, like, statistically it's closer, but, like, in terms of how they played, they're really going to have to get going to get back into the playoff race. Um, <clears throat> but when it comes to uh, the Laval Rocket, you always have to watch for Abadonado, uh, Belzeal as well, uh, Bork obviously as well, DA as well, Dello. There's different people you have to watch for. Amorosa when he's in, he's not. He hasn't played a lot of games this year though. Danik Martell, a former uh, Phantoms player as well, that plays for the Laval Rocket and plays really well. So those are some of the key players on a very good Laval team that the Phantoms do not stack up well against on paper. They have speed. They have toughness on that team. Our Phantoms have the toughness and grit. They don't have as much speed as the Laval team. It's going to be interesting to see how this team or how this game goes. I do think the way the Phantoms can beat them is with that jam style in the neutral zone that we really haven't seen them play in months now other than against that one game uh, against the Hershey Bears that they had in March that they were able to play to that style and actually get a 3-2 to two victory. But if they can play that good jam, the neutral zone style, get the defense, cut the lanes, use the guys like Tanner Lazinski, the word Hodgson's coming back. He's off his three game suspension. So if he can play tonight and is in the lineup, that's a perfect guy to have back in against a team like Laval, who's going to bring the punch as well as the speed. I think those are the keys. You got to bring the punch in this game. You got to jam them in the neutral zone. The only way you're going to beat this Laval Rocket team as a fan of, I think, is playing a very good defensively sound game or your goaltender just plays swimmingly and that carries you over the hump because it's going to be tough with the way our Phantoms have been scoring to be able to outscore Laval. If you get into a scoring match, I don't think they have a chance to win that. they got to jam them in the neutral zone. They have to play really tough defense, and that's the only chance, I think, that they're going to have to beat this very good uh, Laval Rockets team that is still coming in strong, where our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, of course, are coming in struggling big time uh, lately. As well, where even though Laval's five and five in the last ten, the Phantoms are two six one and one, and just haven't haven't been good really since uh, the beginning of the year. Started struggling in February, carried into March. They really need to get their things going. This would be a great win if they can get it tonight, but it's only going to happen, I think, in a defensive game. They're really able to tighten up, bring the punch, or the goaltender just steals a game for the Phantoms, which has happened more than one time this season. So have a great and safe, pleasant day, everybody. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take as we preview the Laval Rocket against the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your evening. Peace.